Hey everyone and welcome to the video. So today we're finally taking a look at the AliExpress one for one replicas that I actually purchased. So I did advise in my previous videos on AliExpress Apple Watch bands. I have ordered some that were supposedly advertised as being one for one. So exact replicas of the real thing. So what we have here is on the left, the blue one, this is the genuine one that actually came with my Apple Watch. So that's straight from Apple. The one right next to it is a one for one, supposedly one for one replica. And then these two on the end are early replicas that were advertised as being one for one. But as you can see they clearly um, have certain things that are different so what we'll do is we'll start with the ones on the right and then we'll come to this one in a minute so firstly what we'll do is we'll take a look at the genuine one so on the genuine one as you can see the the band itself extends right out to the, the edge of the clasp and each side is pretty much even in terms of how it actually goes out the actual braid doesn't extend out past the metal so essentially it's it's clasped in there but it's, it's nice and neat. So this one's obviously been used, so it is, is gonna show a little bit of um, warping in terms of that, if you look at it, it's, it's slanted down slightly, and that's just because of the way that I wear it on the watch, and naturally it's gonna open out on one side, so it'll naturally do that. So that one's obviously in use, and it is really, really comfortable. In terms of the material, it's really soft, and if you just look at the, the braid itself, in terms of how uniform it is, there's no unevenness or anything like that. So what we'll do is, and in terms of sizing, what I'll do is I'll just quickly move that one out of the way. So this is a size five band, and these ones were both advertised as actually being, initially when I actually placed the order for both of these, the reason I did it was this was the only seller that actually had it listed with size numbers. So I believe it's three th uh, through till 11. But as soon as I actually purchased these, the listing actually disappeared. And since then the seller's actually relisted, but he only uses the same small, medium, large, possibly a small, small, a super small, medium, uh, small and medium and large. Essentially he's, they've all followed the same pattern in terms of not giving you the actual Apple sizing. So in terms of the actual measurement here, as you can see, both of these are actually slightly smaller. They're both, they're both a lot shorter in comparison. So I'll just bring that down a little and hopefully that should give you an idea. Both of these are roughly around the same. Now, the first thing that I will say, especially about the red one is this material, unlike the last braided loop that I actually had a look at, which I actually have here, so this is how they all come packaged. And this is the first one that I received. So, and I believe I had a pink one as well. And obviously, firstly, you can see it came damaged. The, the actual braids themselves weren't in. The clasp itself was color coded to whatever color of band you bought, which they seem to think is a positive. But this, this material isn't soft. It's, it's, it's rough. It feels like basically it's been burnt, as, a, as I said in my, my last video. It feels scratchy and rough to the touch. So when you've got it on, it's not actually very comfortable. In comparison, this one is really soft. So this doesn't actually feel like, like these do. So it doesn't feel like a braid. It almost feels like a fabric. So this one is more like a fabric and this is gonna be a little controversial, but I think it's actually more comfortable than the real thing for that reason, because this, this isn't a nylon braid. This is literally just a fabric. So if I can try and get, so you might just be able to see tiny, tiny little bits of fraying on the actual, the material itself. And that's not, it's not a defect as such. That's just, obviously that's what fibers do when they've been braided into this sort of this sort of shape. Now, obviously the, the obvious thing with this one is the fact that it doesn't extend all the way out. And originally the pictures that the seller put up did have, obviously they used stock images, so it looked exactly like this. The seller did actually, after I'd placed the order, sent me some real pictures. So I knew straight away, this is what I was, what I should expect essentially. What I'll do is I'll just quickly throw this on and then we'll take a look at it on the actual watch itself because there are some things that I do actually like. Initially, I didn't actually like the fact that it doesn't um, extend all the way out. However, the silver, as you can see, is not very well machined and finished. It's got scratches and pitting right from manufacturing essentially because I've not actually used this band. However, once I actually put this on with this particular one, so as you can see, it is really grippy. It's 
it's tighter than the original one and as I said because that material is different because this just feels like fabric it is actually really really comfortable as I say it's, it's a little controversial but I think it's actually more comfortable than the genuine one but the main reason for that being that it isn't it isn't a nylon loop essentially it isn't a nylon braid it's just fabric so for that reason obviously it's it's going to be more comfortable now what I'll do is I'll just quickly throw on the black one as well because as I say I've not actually tried either of these so just want to see if the feel is exactly the same the material does feel exactly the same now the downside of it being a fabric is obviously it it defeats the whole purpose of what these do so well which is they're a little bit better when it comes to getting wet and just put it on the right way around for starters in terms of this the stretching so it is quite easy to get on and off and what I've also noticed is unlike the cheap replicas so unlike these ones which I think these were only like two or three pounds so obviously you get what you pay for in terms of that but with this one it does seem to retain its um, memory sort of size a lot lot quicker so this feels more like an uh, elastic sort of fabric that is made to kind of pull back into the correct position very very quickly very very comfortable as I say even though I'm, I'm not a massive fan of it but once you've actually obviously at work I normally use this sort of screen protector just to keep it protected any damage and when you've got that on just being able to see the little bit of the the shiny metal clasp coming through it, it does actually give a pretty decent look to it so I mean if the finish hadn't been so bad in terms of the pitting if it was just polished up if they would taken the care to actually just polish this before they've actually put this in um, or just finish it up afterwards I think it would have been a lot better I'm not a massive fan of the contrast but as I say in comparison to, to this one where essentially you end up with some of the actual loop showing through it's not it's not something that actually puts me off so I don't mind it right now coming on to the supposed one for one replica so firstly let's take a look at the quality because this one was a little bit more expensive so that is actually burnt and as you can see straight away we have a problem so this one as I could tell straight away just from the way that it was actually looped in there um, it looks like it's been singed it's, it's been burnt into sticking into those positions and that is basically what I, I see as the issue so this side it's not perfect but originally obviously before this came off it would branch out gradually like like the original one so if we put them sort of side by side they both branch out not as good as the original because the original ones I'm not sure how they've done it but it's just very very uniform very soft it's it just feels normal whereas what they've done is they've basically folded it over and then sort of either glued it or also sort of burnt it into position now this side as you can see same thing again on the, the genuine one it's nice and even it looks good Whereas on this one, it's it's almost as though they've done this side and then they've kind of forgotten that this one wasn't meant to be like these where they go straight up. So if we just take a look at the width of these, uh, this one is slightly thicker. So that's the one downside with both of these, the fact that they are slightly narrower. But as you can see, it comes straight up and then it's just poor. It's just poor quality control on their part. And this one, I probably will be lodging a dispute against those two I'm actually very happy with and the black one I'll probably be using as my work band and the red one probably just around the house and everything like that as a, a change between the blue the red and the black I would actually buy more of those but the seller hasn't actually got any listed this particular seller does have some listed but as you can see from the quality of what I've received I wouldn't recommend this seller to anybody now people are still constantly asking me for links the thing about Aliexpress is you can't just provide links like that because every pretty much every seller will just remove the links as soon as they've sold that particular batch of products and then they'll create a new one which will have a new link so by doing by me giving you links I'm literally just sending you to a page that no longer exists so as I said before the best way to find these type of bands is to search for Apple Watch band one for one one colon one and that is all the ones will come up the ones that advertise it as being a like for like so yeah this one I'm not particularly happy with at all considering this is the most expensive band that I've actually purchased off Aliexpress it's not a lot more expensive I think it was only maybe three or four pounds more but it's still more than those ones and this once again the material as soon as I put it on it's it's rough um, you can see it's got too much of a, a shine to it in comparison to that one 
So if you just, I know this one is a different material. I'll, I'll use the genuine one. So if you look at the genuine one, it's nice and matte. Whereas this one, it feels uneven. This one, the braid is nice and even. It all sits level. With this, it almost feels as though, as you can see, some are going that way, some are going that way with the braid. It feels like some of them are actually slightly higher and lower than others. In terms of what's visible, that's actually very similar to the original. So in terms of how you just see that tiny little bit of uh, a lip of, of the edge, that's actually very similar to the original one. So that I don't mind at all in terms of stretching and putting back on. Well, it's loosened a little. It has loosened a little, but then it does grip back up again. So in comparison to these ones, they're, they're a lot better when it comes to removing and putting back on because they'll instantly retain their sort of sizing. This one, size-wise, as I said, because all of these now, they literally just give you small, medium, large, or some of them have a, an SS for super small. So in terms of sizing and everything, it's fine for me. And these are all going off a genuine Apple size 5. But in terms of quality, um, it's still not great in these. And it's, it's surprising because it's been quite a while now. So they've had quite a long time to actually get all of these little niggles sorted out. And with pretty much every other product, as you will have seen from my Apple Silicon Cases uh, videos and some of the other videos, the Apple chargers, the MagSafe chargers, everything else seems to have been improved to the point where it's it's almost like for like. Whereas these bands, these are still lacking, especially with this one. Um, with these two, obviously then they're, they're, they're not uh, like for like. That's, that's the thing with these. The sellers, even if they initially did, list them as one for one or like for like. Eventually they did actually click on to the fact that no, we need to actually update it with the real pictures and just show what the product is. And after that, basically if you accept that this isn't a like for like, then you can actually accept the slight differences in the product. But as I said, both of these are very, very comfortable. They're very, very soft and they're, they're really nice when you've actually got them on because it almost disappears. So that's basically my standard in terms of comparing it to this one where it, feel, it doesn't feel like you've got the watch on. It, it'll literally just sort of disappear. And both of these ones, as I say, the material is nice and soft. They retain their size very well. And in terms of quality, I think the, the reason a lot of them do go with this sort of um, straight up is because they're obviously struggling to try and get the finish on these. And that's what it's causing them. So they're literally, they're probably just take extending a few extra loops. And I, I'm not sure whether they've glued this or whether they have tried to burn it onto one another. That That's poor. So I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't expect that and I wouldn't recommend this either. It just doesn't feel the same as these ones. These ones just feel nice and soft, similar to the Apple, Apple one. So the Apple one is it's just very even. Every single braid is nice and even. Whereas this one, it's it feels bumpy essentially. And obviously every single one of those uh, divots and peaks is going to be pressing against your skin as it's turning. And unless you get the right size, obviously it's either going to be too tight or it's going to be too loose. With these, I would say you're probably better off going too small rather than going too big. So if it is even a, a little bit tighter over over time, you probably won't notice that as much. What I, ha what I did notice when I was using this for a short period was because it's just a tiny bit too big and it's just a tiny bit looser. So if you just look at the comparison in terms of these two, it's, it's not massively different. It's You're talking just a couple of millimeters, but it is enough to where the watch will basically move around and that just makes it uncomfortable. So a bit of a longer video, but what I wanted to do was give everybody as much of a, an in-depth sort of look into these. So basically people can make up their own mind. As I've said, I'm not telling people what to do. If you guys want to spend your money on these, then out of all of these, these two are the ones that I would actually recommend. So you're probably better off finding a seller that will actually give you these type of bands where they're at least done well, as opposed to going for something that is trying to imitate the real thing, but it coming off basically just subpar. So you're better off buying some of these where you, you know it's not exact, but it gives you a much better product that hopefully will last longer then all of these ones are proven to do so because this one is I've literally only just taken it out of the packaging and <laughs> this one this is what's happened to it I've not I've not used this yet this one fell apart after the first day initially it did have just a tiny braid loose um, and then obviously I, I wore it once to work and this is the result where it's just it's just unbraiding itself so not not great in terms of quality on those two 
these two I, I would probably recommend so if, if you can find a seller that is actually listing either of those two then I would suggest actually going for those. Anyway, that's it for today's video. As I've said before, if you've not already done so, please do subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, hit that notification bell because a lot of people are gonna be missing out on videos. I get a lot of comments asking me for certain videos. Hit the notification bell and enable notifications on your phone. That way you won't miss out on any new videos. And until the next one, thank you very much for watching.